Can't find her purse, Inspector. We made a thorough search, but uh, we came up with nothing. I want you to know I've only lived there since my wife died, sir. Here comes the doctor now. They think I'm crazy because I sleep under the bridge. But what else can I do? I have no home, no pension. I'm all alone, see? No one to look after me. No one cares about me. I might as well be dead. They put me in the nut house for two years. Do I look crazy to you? Uh, you're not crazy. You hear what he said? The inspector says I'm not crazy. Sharp blade used with precision. The jugular cut very neatly. A professional job. Cover the body now. I never forget a face, Inspector. They were having a fight right in front of my gas station. I don't know what it was about. I couldn't hear. My eyes are better than my ears, and there was traffic. Two girls and a boy, 16, 17, no more. One was the murdered girl. The boy left them arguing together. Then the girls turned and followed to his car. One of them seemed to force the other inside. One of those tiny 500s. You can't be too careful nowadays with kids. They get involved in drugs, kidnapping, crimes of all kinds. I decided to memorize the number of the car. Five, five, seven, nine, six, two, just in case. When I bought the news today, on the front was a photo of that poor girl. I recognized her, so I came straight here to see you. If every citizen did his duty, maybe we'd have a safer place to live. I hope the number is some use to you. It might help you trace the murderer. Mancini, take this license plate, will you? Rome 557962. Five, I want the car traced, understand? It's very urgent. That's right. Thanks. I'd like to thank you. We don't get a hand often, sir. <laughs> I was born in the First World War, but I got a good memory, and I'm fit as a fiddle. Oh, by the way, what's your name? Uh, Giuseppe Taratona, S.O. Pump, Piazza Galeno 32. Thanks, that'll be all. <laughs> Uh, you spelled my name all right. Uh, for the papers, I mean. It'll be in one. Uh, yes, you'll see it in print, sir. <laughs> Good. What is it? Body was found in a burnt-out car in the pine wood near the beach. Uh, we'll have to go there and look at it. My son was a good boy. Why, why? We didn't do anything. You're from the south, Signora. We are from Calabria. My Augusto was only five when we came up here. My boy, my only son gone. Gone forever. <laughs> Had your son been going out steady with Maria? We didn't know they were going together. I knew her because she lived just down our street. She went out a lot with her friend, Lorena. Uh, 
Did Auguste ever tell you he wanted to leave here? Once or twice. Only when he'd had a fight with his father. Then he'd say he couldn't wait to go away. But then he'd calm down and let it pass. <laughs> oh, God, what shall I do? You know, may I take this photograph? It might be useful. Do you mind? Oh, my boy. Oh, good. Why would anyone want to kill him? That's what we want to find out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why did I bring my family here? was the city that murdered him, and I'm a killer, too. Oh, you're going to regret you did that when my lawyer finds out. Hmm. Your lawyer won't be here for at least an hour. I have plenty of time to make you live it. I've told you already. I don't know anything. Nothing. It was you with Augusto that morning. Say it. That's not true. Hmm. You've been seen. All right, I was. So? I didn't want to, but Augusto insisted on showing me the place where Maria used to meet the other guy. Another? Maria had two boyfriends. One had a black car and a nice rich daddy. Fool I am. I took them to meet each other. He saw Maria and tried to take you to bed at once. What's his name, kid? What's it matter? They're all alike. You'll tell me. Might just as well. I don't mind if he dies. His name is Marcello. Marcello Degan. Do you know if uh, he's anything to do with the head of customs at Fiumicino? Everything. He's his son. That's why Maria gave Augusto the push. She was tired of being in the shit, so she pushed me in to get out. If you answer me, you'll get out too, kid. I don't know anymore. They made me stay at home that night. I don't know what happened afterwards. In that case, I'll tell you. Maria was killed and Augusto... Oh, please, not again. It was in the paper. Pity you don't read it like I do. Then why did you report it to the police immediately? Have you no conscience? I... Uh, I don't really know why. You were trying to leave as I walked in. You'd prepared everything. You'd even done your packing. Why? I'm scared, Inspector. I'm so scared. I'll be murdered too like her if I don't do what they say. Somebody threaten you? Yes. No. I don't know. Yes, a man telephoned my flat. He said I'd better get out of town. He said not to worry. That I'd be all right. He sent me money for a ticket. I have no idea who sent it. That's all. I'm pretty sure I know who did it. It all points directly at the gang. He disposed of Maria and Augusto. The only person now who knows him is you. But it wasn't. It's not Marcello. Marcello wouldn't kill a fly. Then someone did it for him. Lorena, you've got to help me over this. You've got to phone to Gann and say he didn't send you nearly enough money. You have to have more, much more. And if he had nothing to do with it? Well, if that's the case, he'd just say you're mad. But if he didn't...
This time you made a mess of it. Who was with you in there? I don't know. Come on. Who paid you to do this? He has a black Volkswagen. That's all I know. You think I know better than you who it is. Spill it now. I just want to hear you say it. Patricia was a real pain. I told you Patricia wouldn't last much longer. That's obvious. Must you go on discussing that dull girl? Hello. Hi. Hi. What's the plan tonight? Back to Lilo's? Not very original. I prefer to play cards. No, how about roller skating, everyone? Yeah, you know what'll happen. Listen here a minute. Does this car belong to any one of you? No, huh? No. 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 <laughs> Whoa there! Hey, you. Are you crazy? Think you're funny, huh? Okay, now I'm gonna call the police. Inspector all me. You're a policeman? Take your hands off me. All Let right, me go. go. What the hell did I do? Your name Marcelo again? Sure, that's my name, but I haven't done anything. Yes, you have, and you know it. Take him in. You can't do this to me. I want to call my father. I know my rights. Let go of me. I don't know anything. No. You don't know anything, huh? You're no. lying, uh, said squeak. You're no, right. Tell me everything no. you know. Please. Come on! Don't let you. go. Don't hit me. He gets mad. Oh, no. no, really, let's go. The trouble is, we take the rap, too. We'll bring you with him. Talk! He was done by my dad. He had everything to lose. So he found specialists. I did what I could to stop him, I swear, but he just wouldn't listen, that's all. So he committed two murders and planned a third. Why? Because Maria... happened to overhear a phone conversation. She discovered that my father was... You'll have to tell me. I don't know. Come on! Uh, my father's job at customs gives them great opportunities. He makes a fortune out of diamonds. Maria discovered about the whole smuggling racket by chance. I told him she'd promised not to give us away, but he wouldn't listen to me. He ordered his men get rid of her and Augusta because I was involved. See how easy it is? It's better. Now you can come down to headquarters and repeat what you just said. And I advise you not to lie to the police. It's forbidden. Come on. <laughs> Your idea of a joke, Inspector? Garganeza, the judge's signature is on that and he's not kidding. It's a bona fide warrant for your arrest. He wouldn't do that to me. I know God and easy. There's no doubt at all. There's been a mistake along the line. <laughs> no wait again. You're not getting away with this. You're only a cog in the machine. There are many things beyond your jurisdiction. You're probably right. But right now you're being arrested. You're going to drop everything and come along. The car's waiting. I have a wide circle of friends that might surprise you. I have to make an urgent phone call. After which, you'll be leaving my office alone. Bravo. But your son's the one who's useful to us. And we have him in custody. All the worse for you. You dare to arrest my son? If you touch a hair on his head... You can stop acting now, Degan. You're a killer. Your son gave us the whole story. That's very interesting now. Go on. I'd like to know what I'm accused of. You can't play your little cop games with me, you know. You're just a criminal. No different from any other. A man's position is not important. Morning, Inspector. Morning, morning. Hey, this is...
Does this machine tell the truth? It's always down four pounds. I wondered. And what does our handsome inspector want to eat today? Hmm? Well, all the best things seem to be finished already. We keep the best things ready on this side of the counter. You're right, but it's not a snack, my dear. It's a banquet. Not really. Maybe just a takeaway meal? I would take it. Well, we're here to make our customers gain an appetite. Uh, I thought you were here to satisfy them. Later. In the meantime, would you like to have a little spaghetti, huh? Right idea. In that case, I'll go and prepare it with my own dainty little hands. <laughs> hey, listen. Yes? Garlic and oil, eh? Especially for you. I get so spoiled here. But I spoil you with good intention. Uh, Flora. Yes? Um, put a little hot pepper in it. It's tastier. It's spicier. <laughs> Cops and newsmen are always last to get something to eat. <laughs> but this time I beat you to it. You can go back to your newspaper. There must be something left. I'm starving. Anything about the increase in crime? It's part of the world's inflation, and it gives you guys more stuff to write, doesn't it? Our job is to report the news, inform the world of what's happening. I don't see the cops doing much lately. The damage you guys create leaves us no leisure hours to read a newspaper in, huh? There's robbery and all kinds of violence, rape and murder are on the increase, unchecked by the police. Hmm. Fighting with a pen. It's a lot easier than meeting criminals face to face. You often have to arrest criminals. But it's always a small fry you pick up. They get off the hook. They're big. I've caught a huge fish. And you can soon print his name. Uh, the gun? Oh. Yeah. He's the biggest in the ocean. Uh, yeah. Only no jail can contain a fish of that size. He's out already. It's funny how you just can't bear to tell the truth, writing or yakking. Now and again, you should read the news, see? Your fish got away unscathed. It's a front-page story. Great for circulation. Pity you didn't see it. His son, under interrogation, retracted everything he said originally. Confessed that he was the killer of Maria and Augusto. So his father was cleared. And he's back at work, though he isn't allowed a passport. Yeah. It was Judge Garganese, right? That's right. Garganese. Here's your spaghetti, Mr. Inspector. Now, where's he gone to? Oh, the spaghetti will get cold. Well, look, I'll eat the spaghetti. Don't worry about it, Sue. Omi? Please be seated. Thank you, sir. I was about to call you when I heard you were here. I want to speak to you about the gang. Yes, I know. I don't intend to keep you long. You have a responsibility. And you're being just a little foolish. And making a fool of me, too. If I can explain... Let me go on. You have no right to get me to sign a warrant for someone's arrest based on a statement made under duress. You know that's not binding. Have you nothing to say, Olmi? I find your methods extremely embarrassing. I don't know any others. Almi, I want to suggest, that is, if you want to stay on here, Inspector, revise your methods a little. They're not very good for our reputation, as you can see. I wasn't aware that my job here was to protect criminals, allow them to operate. I joined the police to do the opposite. I believe in justice. But you have no proof. A man's innocent until he's proved guilty. Miss Sun testified. How am I to judge the truth of that? I'm telling you. One man's word against another. Against against mine. But you found it easy to take his word. Hmm? I wonder why. Goodbye, Your Honor. You ought to take a little vacation. Sorry, I fail to see the point. 
Just to give Mr. Justice Garganese time to calm down. Unless you give me an order, sir. I'm going to stay right here. Not in homicide, I'm afraid, Olmy. You are a little bit too heavy-handed for a department as delicate as that. You're going to be transferred to emergency squad. Best place for you. Plenty of action. I hope it teaches you a lesson. Fine with me. You see, sir, I happen to believe in what I do. Inspector Olmey, I know you're not with Homicide anymore, and if my boss finds out I've worked with you, I'll be sent up the river. <laughs> you know how it is. But I want you to know that Dagan was seen twice with the jeweler of the motel. Inspector, Bertini's on the line. Hey, just a moment. Hold me here. They're in an old farm building, 10 kilometers of the Aurelia. Fine. I'll be right there. So big you're even stopping police cars. No, just routine. You know, we can't take chances now. I'm Sergeant Maroney. We're transferring the prisoner to wrong jail. Yeah, let him pass that. Men just as cops. The prisoner got away in a police car. Silvestri and Carboni are dead. Attention, calling all cars and helicopters in the vicinity of the Solaria. 16 kilometers from the private airport, a Carabinieri patrol car has been stopped in a roadblock set up by a criminal gang. The guards were machine gunned, according to the report we have. 
The bandits are disguised as regular policemen in a police car. These men are armed and dangerous, but must be stopped. Helicopter 20. All of me here, speaking. Come in, Inspector. We're listening. We're in precisely the area, right over the Solaria. Further information, please. How many are there? No official information. However, since they're in a squad car, there can't be more than four of them. And there's an escaped prisoner who was being escorted to Rome by the guards that they murdered. Come on, let's go! Get those uniforms off! See? Looks like the car that was attacked. There's a roadblock, too. We'll never catch him now. Oh, headquarters, hold me here. We found a Carabinieri squad car. The roadblock is exactly three kilometers off the Solaria on the Formello Road. I think we made it all right. They must be on this road. Look, there's a police car. It's been abandoned. They must have changed cars. Go up higher. Squad car 70. We just reached the Carabiniere car. Three dead, one badly hurt. Wait a minute. I see a van and it's the only vehicle in the vicinity, so it must be them. Go on top of it. On this side. They could have simply made a run for it on foot, cross country. Well, we'll soon find out. Just get close. That chopper's the police! Sure. Blast them right in the belly! I told you it was them! Go down again on the driver's side! Just as you say, sir! Give me a hand with the door!
just the one details. point I wanted you to clear up. Yes, gentlemen, just let me say... Oh, allow the chief to give us a statement, for goodness sake. Go ahead, sir, we're ready. There's one thing I want to make clear. That recent police operations are in no way uh, out of the ordinary or unusual. The enormous increase in violent crime has brought the police up to a high it's level only. of efficiency. Entirely a question of how you look at it, you see. Uh, the impetus of crime must be met on the same level, like any battle in any war. And every man on the force is totally dedicated to the elimination of crime. And in a way, that befits the uniform. Here's the inspector. Interview him. He's the man you're all interested in today. You opened fire from a helicopter onto a private road vehicle that contained a band of criminals. How did you know who they were? Why did you leave homicide? We'd like to know if that was... Did you request a transfer? Would you care to comment? No, I have nothing to say. The operation was successful. With unnecessary violence, I would say. Do you take sufficient precautions to distinguish the criminals you're after from innocent members of the public? Who are these criminals and what was their crime? And were any of these arrested, Inspector? They're violent. How else do you think I should have acted? There wouldn't be any need for judges if everyone behaved as you do. No. The world would be a neater place. Well, one last question, if you don't mind, old me. The, uh, the Gan case, the son's confession to close the case for good, is that it? Yeah. But not for me. Advise Inspector Olney that the men have been located in a farmhouse off the Tuscolana at the 72nd kilometer. Hello? Huh. Via Tuscolana. I'll be there. I'm on my way. Squad cars 17, 52, 31, and 35 at the disposition of Inspector Olney in preparation for large-scale raids employing the use of automatic weapons if necessary. Immediate exit. Repeat. Immediate exit.
police! Stop you! That was a silly thing to do. Go on. Put the cuffs on him. Hey, take it easy. I'm kind of sensitive. Shut up. You're wounded, huh? I'll call an ambulance. Don't bother. It's only a scratch. <laughs> Keep your filthy paws off me. I'm particular. Ah, give a little bit. Here's all the proof you're going to need, Inspector, with these documents. You can surely incriminate the guy whenever you please. As usual, you're right, sir. Yeah, sure, he's involved in diamond smuggling. Yeah, like I said. Yeah. You better go. Good night, sir. Thanks. You omitted to say what this was about. Oh? I thought I made myself clear. Perhaps I'm still a bit confused. I was involved in an incident last night. I wonder if you heard. Yes, I was informed. To get back to Degan. Do I have to remind you of the fact that you're not the one in charge of this case anymore, Inspector? Yes or no? In fact. So you are perfectly aware that I have no right to meddle in the case. I'm not in homicide. I know the rules. And what are you after? I must have a warrant for DeGan's arrest. For murder? No. Smuggling and traffic of diamonds. One of my men has been following him and has collected enough evidence against him to put him away for a long time. I see. Very good. You've been very clever. Come back this afternoon and you'll have your warrant. Make any difference if I take it now? No. Only I'd prefer to study the evidence before making it out. Come back at five. What's the matter, Olmi? Afraid he'll get away? There's no way to get out of it. We have his passport. He can't pop overseas. Better not happen. I'll see you, Aerosol. Can I help you? 
I'd like to speak to Pietro, if I may. We've got to be out of here by five. Don't forget. Five. Mm-hmm. Pietro, listen. Mr. Degan wants the plane ready to take off at five exactly. I'll get onto it right away. I'll wait for your confirmation. Send off a telex to Switzerland to say I'm arriving at Zurich tonight. Everything's in order, sir. The plane will take off at five. Thanks a lot. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. The judge in? The judge is at a meeting. It'll take another half hour or so. Did you have an appointment? Yes. Yeah. Why don't you take a seat, Inspector? Yeah. All right. No, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Mr. Garganese is out, I'm afraid. Uh, no, he won't be back today. He asked for the afternoon off. Yeah, yes, of course. Device. Artillery Air Club at 1700 hours for Zurich, Switzerland. I do if the police question me. Shouldn't I come with you, sir? Oh! Excuse me, sir. Ah, all me. I've been trying to get a hold of you for three days, but I haven't been able to speak to you. What did you want to see me for? Degan's getaway. Someone tipped him off. You suspect anyone? Yes. Justice Garganese. Hmm? Uh, listen. But all me, do you realize what you are saying? It couldn't have been anyone else. Have you any proof? Proof can be found easily. And put the whole judicial system in a bad light, is that it? Go ahead, then. I don't envy you. Your life won't be worth two bits. They'll destroy you. You are not one of the... You're an outsider. Be warned. I've blundered once again, haven't I? I realize why you're bitter. I want to be transferred. Send me a long way from here. I don't like Rome anymore. We'll notice your absence, Inspector Olney.
Hands up, everyone. This is a holdup. Go get lost. Very funny. Hey, hasn't this new inspector arrived yet? Yeah, he's here, and he'll be in any minute now. You better stop kidding around. They say he's pretty tough. Was this transfer his request, or was he sent here as a punishment? Whatever the reason, he's here. Looks to me like he was sent here for something he must have done. Hmm. Sending him here to suffer means we're going to suffer as well. That's about the size of it. So, kid, you just might as well accept it. I'm afraid it looks like your life's not going to be as free and easy as it was with the last one. I'm not going to let him stand in my way. Good afternoon. I'm here to speak to Ballerine. I'm Sergeant Ballerine. What is it? Well, I'm Inspector Olmey, your new boss. Good afternoon, sir. I'm expecting you, Inspector. Can I speak to you? Yes, sir. Ah, by the way, guys, your lives are not going to be as free and easy as it was. Mm. And don't let the man smile fool you. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Sergeant. Yes, sir? Anything specially urgent to be done? No, Inspector. The only urgent thing to be done around here is try to get transferred. Sounds like you're busy, though. That's right, sir. Busy doing nothing. Well, I'll help you to combat your boredom, OK? I hope we win the battle, sir. Cappuccino, please. Good morning, Signorina. Right away. See that girl? She's the one who started coming here a few weeks ago. Yeah. And she's always alone. She's looking for you. Ask me. Yeah. I think I'll give it a try. She looks kind of easy. Here you are. Thank you. If you want sugar. Okay, fellas, here, watch this. <laughs> cool it. Hold it. He has stepped over the line. Back into the chink and run. Pleased to know you. How do you Princess do? Go. Smashing the place to pieces. This is the Lampada Bar. lesson in manners, you can go back to the station. Just as you say, Inspector. Come on. My God, what a mess. So you're in the police, are you? Disillusioned? Surprised. I thought you had to be short and dark to be in the police here. <laughs> what do I owe? 300 lire, Signorina. No need to pay for the damages, Inspector. Uh, let me pay for you. I'd rather you paid for the furniture. I was going to do that anyway. Can I see you again? You might take me out to dinner sometime. Like tomorrow night. No, no, no. Tonight's the night. <laughs> <laughs> OK. I never went back to Torino. They even threatened me, you know. Because of the little boy? Yes, just because he was different. Mm. Couldn't accept life there. Desperately needed affection, that's all. Mm -hmm. The other mothers accused me of favoritism. And 
I suppose they were right. There was a big row at the school. Legend has it that a crusader brought the seed back from the Holy Land and dropped it here. Come and see the view. Anna, do you think destiny exists? No. And neither do I. But you ask me if it exists. Yes, I know. I guess it's just a coincidence that we came here for more or less the same reason. Because of a difficult child? <laughs> no. Because I couldn't fight the system. Before I gave in, I put up quite a battle, though. But that's your business. No. My business is to fight criminals. And the ones who met it always got away. In the end, I found it easier to run away myself. I don't blame you. I ran away, too. Nobody gave us a choice. I know, but I shouldn't have left. I should have stayed. Inspector, would you like to see the newspapers? Not now, thanks. Leave them there. Yes, sir. No point in reading them more than once a month. They're always the same. Eh, not all of us lead such a boring life. Hey, Ballerine. You know who that boat belongs to, that white one out there? That one there? Yeah, it belongs to a guy called Gorky. Gorky? I know who he is. Yeah, he's a publisher or something, I think. He's one of those filthy rich. Very influential. They don't know what's going on. Yet they print the news. Sometimes I think I picked the wrong profession, you know. I think you'd better clean it up, Inspector. That gun hasn't been used in a long time. Uh, I don't think I'll use it, thanks. I'd love to go fishing one day. <laughs> There's plenty of fish in that water. How about it, then? Uh, hello, Inspector. Hello, Angelo. Nice day, eh? <laughs> Good catch. What can I offer you? This looks very tempting. Honey, would you like anything? Which Some of those? Just good. This one is very good for you. How about a mixture for frying? Bring the lady a bag. Pick a few of these or of these or of these. <laughs> Thank Anything you. is good for the frying pan, <laughs> Just, just give me a mixture. Take what you want. Now, don't tell me that this comes from these waters. Oh, you know how it is. Sometimes Adwans get caught in the currents. You I know. see how it is. How much? Oh, I'm not taking don't be your silly. money. My compliments, Senora. <laughs> Thank Thank you. you. Have a good dinner. Thanks. And good appetite. Very friendly people here, huh? Never seen that fish in the Adriatic before. Wind's a bit chilly. Yeah. Yeah. Look, isn't that smashing? Mm, sure is. It's always been a dream of mine to own a boat like that. Very beautiful. Think so? The boat of the man. The man, silly. Don't you think so? <laughs>
destroyed the ground with your bikes! Your bikes! No! No! Crazy nuts! Hey! No! <laughs> what do you want to do? Get a wife and kill! Oh my god, I'm gonna call the police! The police! Go on, answer it. Police here. Please, come at once. I am being attacked in the stadium. There are two crazy kids out of their minds on motorbikes riding around like crazy. I'm terrified. They tried to kill me. Come at once. Hang on. We'll be with you right away. Sure. As soon as you pull the chain, we're off. Inside. Inspector, the fight of the gun is down. down. There's Wait two here. of them. You're They're not to crazy. Worry. Do something, Inspector. <laughs> <laughs> Still you. <laughs> you ever go elephant hunting with it? <laughs> okay. okay. My poor bike. <laughs> Where'd you get this gun? Huh? Come on, where'd you get it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Where'd you get it? It's not mine. It's well, whose, not. Whose is it? On the beach. I found it down on the beach. Take the others away. You're gonna show us. All right. I picked up the gun right there. That's where it was lying, near on the ground. Take him in. Let's go. It's not possible that our trucks would go down there. The road leads to the beach. There's nothing but the sea. 
However, if you'd like to check, you'd better have a word with the director. No, no. I'd really prefer it now if you were to make the investigations. Well, if I find one of my trucks has a rear light smashed, I'll let you know at once. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I called you as soon as the truck with the broken light got in. I appreciate it. I'm trying to understand what on earth it was doing down there. The director's going to have to give me an explanation. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like a word with him myself. As you wish, but I assure you he's completely trustworthy. He's been with us for many years. The truck you're looking for is the last one on the right. Thanks. Real great monsters. Well, they need to be. They carry big hulls. And the men who drive them have to be as hard as nails. I bet they make pretty long trips, huh? Yeah, from one end of Europe to the other. But never on that road to the sea. It's odd, because I saw the tire imprints. Whatever makes you think they belong to these trucks we have here? Huh? Oh, not all of them. Just that one. Look here. Now do you understand? So then? Not here, Inspector. Please, not where we can be seen. I was threatened and had to do it. A man told me he had two drivers I had to use. I was to employ them and ask no questions or suffer the consequences. Are you certain you've never seen them before? No, no, I don't know anything. Honest, I have to let them go out at strange hours of the night, that's all. How do you mean? Well, weekends. Early in the morning, midnight, like I told you. You're not telling me all of it. All right, all right. They didn't tell me a lot. What are they smuggling, arms? I haven't dared to ask, Inspector. Act as if nothing has changed. And the minute they go out, don't forget to phone me immediately. Whatever you say, <gasps> Inspector, but... Are you really interested Professor in sports? Ancelli, what? No, my mind was on other things. Anything I ought to be jealous of? Not unless my work worries you. Did the shoot up at the stadium develop into anything? I'd like to know what's happening. Well, I uncovered some activity at the beach. But I haven't been able to discover exactly what yet. Smuggling, do you think? Yeah. The traffic in arms. How dramatic. Gone. It's bound to be only cigarettes. Now, it's arms all right. Smuggled in from the east. Same as that fish you were given the other day down at the dock. That isn't a local species, remember? Well, I'm really amazed. Now it's time mm. for our Friday night program. Sweet dreams. Starring your Good Lord. Movie. It's nearly midnight already. Expecting a phone call? Hmm? <laughs> yep. Hmm. Stripping off everything, look. If they didn't show something a bit different, they'd soon be out of viewers. <laughs> These private stations don't have much to offer. <laughs> I wonder if many couples get turned on Friday nights by this. It's a bit... You find it working? <laughs> Sorry. All me here. What? They've gone out already? Thanks. But it's Friday night. You can't go out at this hour. So you were expecting a phone call. 
A tip off I have to check on. Shall I wait up? No, no. I'll be late. I'll go straight home when I've finished. Call me at least when you get home. I'll be anxious. Promise. Good evening, Inspector. The trucks have already left the depot. The fishing boats went out at sunset, too. That's not unusual. Who knows if they have anything to do with this? Look, I just want to make sure they're really out to catch fish. Well, they bring their catch back in the morning, so there's not much doubt, is there? I'd like to see for myself, that's all. Program change. Suspend sweet dreams. Put on the Bogart film. Back to land. Why? What's wrong? Operation suspended. Tell the others. Or just to turn and go home. That's all. Stupid inspector's gone. Get on with the job. My legs are a bit short for this. You were right, Inspector. They weren't fishing at all, and that's a fact. Mm-hmm. 
They were waiting for the contact ship. The arms are unloaded onto the fishing boats and brought by them to the trucks on shore, then off to their destinations. But how the devil do they keep contact? Well, not by radio, that's for sure. We'd have intercepted them, but no sign. Well, someone must have tipped them off, that's yeah, all. Yeah, but how? Come on, let's go. I'm going to call Masareta headquarters for help so we can catch them red-handed next time they try anything. Sergeant, I'd like to know what that is. What? Well, look. Ah, that's a TV station antenna. Why? Well, it's facing seawards. Programs for fish? Hello? I'm a man of my word. You home? Uh huh. Safe and sound. You're still awake? Of course. Hoping You're you hadn't alive. forgotten to call. Like <laughs> hey, who's there with you? No one. I hear someone talking, though. <laughs> it's the TV, that's all. Ah, that girl still taking off? No, almost as soon as you went out, the program was interrupted. Did you say it was interrupted? Yeah. They're always having breakdowns. This isn't a big city, you know. Hey, are you still there? Hey, I'm here. I'll call you back soon. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present Sweet Dreams, which was interrupted earlier in the evening because of technical difficulties. Thank you again, and will you please excuse us? Take the tiller for me, will you? Head for the starboard bolt. Hold her on course. on the loading. That's it, hurry. Load for tonight. Give her 
going straight. has promised to send us only 20 men. They ought to be here soon. Oh, that's plenty. You better make the TV station your job. I'll send the others to surround the port area and block the city exits. Someone has to remain here to keep us all in contact, okay? Okay. Time to change programs. We're sick of cartoons. We want sweet dreams, isn't that so? Yeah, but I can't do that without the director's orders. And anyway, Sweet Dreams goes on on Fridays, late. Seems to me a good time as any is Thursday at 10. The kids go to bed early. <laughs> go on. I'm about to go off my head watching this crap every night. Cartoons, old movies, shit like that. Yeah. I hope that's hot. We apologize for the interruption of this program, but we present our late Friday night feature, Sweet Dreams, tonight instead, and wish you happy viewing. There you see, jerk. Lucky you were watching. Go give the signal. Hey, pull up nets. Sweet Dreams is on television again. Must have changed it from Friday. Well, it's on. You know the orders. Stop fishing. Give it the signal. First time this happened on a Thursday. It must be a special consignment arrived unexpectedly. How's everything? Fine. Pack the arms away. All being taken care of. I'm just making room for tomorrow night's consignment. Good. Make sure there's plenty of space for it. I will. We can ship it out in one convoy then. It's much safer. I agree. At uh, what time will it get here? The usual time. Hmm. However, we don't want any slip-ups. That's right. It's a heavy load tomorrow night. So, it's as well to plan carefully. How they expect to get in with this sea, I don't know. It's almost late, too. Don't know about you, but I'm going back. Guess you're right. No point in staying here. OK, let's go.
arms are to be hidden in oil drums and we'll leave in three days. And what about tomorrow's load? Hmm. It should be ready. So then I'm going to need at least 60 of these oil containers, I think, to cover the whole cargo. Exactly. Fine, man. What is it? Go find out. Well, did you fill up the tanks on board? Tonight we'll have to make at least four trips to the supply ship and back. Yes, I filled her up this morning. Good. Crush up. That's the trucks. They're ours. What are they doing here? Go find out. Right away. What are you two doing here? We received the signal. What signal? The usual sweet dream. The order was given to put it out. Well, I'll go tell Julio. Julio! Julio! Where is he? He ain't there. That truck couldn't have driven itself here. Sweet Dreams was put out without our orders, and Julio's disappeared. There's got to be an explanation. If the TV crew hasn't notified us of the change, then something or someone has prevented them. You mean the police? They've set us a trap, you peasant. Perhaps they did have technical difficulties for once, and didn't they have any other tape handy to put out? They'd never do a thing like that. And there's someone here who drove Julia's truck. We've got to get out of here as soon as possible. Come on, he jumped you. Who could him? Hey, Sandy, go around the north side. Go on, hurry. They are, Inspector. So hold your fire, Valerie. It's dangerous to start a gun battle around here. In any case, there's trapped. My luck's run out. They've got us now. Or maybe not. They're backing up and turning around. Yeah. Now they're heading away. Now they're turning right. Patrol one. Nothing here yet, Inspector. Patrol two. Roadblock set up, but no sign of anyone yet. Remember, I don't want any shooting. If you sight them, let me know. Patrol three. Nothing to report, sir. All quiet here. Ballerine. Yes, Inspector. Well, didn't you say they turned right? Toward the sea? Yes, sir. But they drove out of sight at once. Patrol 4? Nothing yet, Inspector. Where the devil have they got? No, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Just stop. That's where are we going? Come on. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> it's time to go back to school. taken seven children and a teacher hostage at the elementary school. When? Just a few minutes ago.
third floor. They want a car to get him to the airport and a plane to take him out of the country. The local police chief is on his way. Inspector? Listen. We can't wait. God knows how long this chief will take. Up there, there are seven kids. It's up to you. Guard them with your life. Hey. Nothing happening here? No, no, nothing. The inspector been over? He gone. Now, don't be frightened, children. Nothing's going to happen to you. The important thing is to keep calm and they'll soon let us all go home. All they want is a car. But I'm scared. They might do anything. They shot that man downstairs. I hate guns. Leave her alone! Get yeah, your hands Look. off her! She's oh, off her! Oh, you don't hurt her! What's going on? You damn fool! It's all right, children. Never put a hand on me, Gorky. Nobody gives me orders no more, so don't try it again. Oh, you'll be sorry. <laughs> Levin, do you really think that without orders from me, you'd be able to kill this bunch of hostages? <coughs> Don't ever try that on me again, or I'll kill you. Send it up now.